The Devil and How to Sell Your Soul Satan has surely been the best friend the church has ever had, for he has kept her in business all these years. The false doctrine of hell and the devil has allowed the Protestant and Catholic churches to prosper for far too long. Without a devil to accuse, the religious of the right-hand way would have nothing to threaten and intimidate their followers with. By way of warning, they say. Satan leads you into temptation, Satan is the prince of evil, Satan is evil, cruel, brutal. If you yield to the devil's temptations, you will surely suffer eternal damnation and roast in hell. The semantic meaning of Satan is that of adversary or opposition or accuser. The word devil itself comes from the Hindu Devi meaning God. Satan represents opposition to all religions that serve to frustrate and condemn man for his natural instincts. He has been given the role of evil simply because he represents the carnal, earthly, and worldly aspects of life. Satan, the quintessential demon of the Western world, was originally an angel whose duty was to inform God of human crimes and iniquities. It was not until the 14th century that he began to be represented as an evil deity who was part man and part animal, with horns and the hooves of a goat. Before Christianity gave him the names Satan, Lucifer and other names, the carnal part of human nature was ruled by the god then known as Dionysus, or Pan, represented by the Greeks as a satyr or fawn. In its origins, Pan was the good one and symbolized fertility and fecundity. Whenever a nation assumes a new form of government, the heroes of the past become the villains of the present. The same is true of religion. Early Christians believed that pagan deities were demons, and to go to them was to use black magic. They called miraculous celestial events white magic, this was the only difference between the two. The old gods did not die, they fell into hell and became demons. Coconut, goblins, or wild spirits employed to frighten children, derive from various Slavic beliefs about spirits that inhabited swamps. The Slavic root bogey means God, the same as the Hindu word Bhaga, meaning God. Many pleasures revered before the advent of Christianity were condemned by the new religion. It takes very little to transform Pan's horns and hooves into a more convincing demon. Pan's attributes could easily be transformed into the sins with punishment included, and thus the metamorphosis was complete. The association of the goat with the devil is found in the Christian Bible. The holiest day of the year, the Day of Atonement, was celebrated by loading two unblemished goats with sins, one as an offering to the Lord, and one to Hazazel. The goat that bore the sins of the people was cast into the wilderness and became the scapegoat. This is the origin of the goat that is still used today in lodge ceremonies, as it used to be done in Egypt, where it was annually sacrificed to a god. The demons of mankind are many, and their origins very diverse. The celebration of satanic ritual does not adopt the invocation of demons, this practice is only followed by those who fear the forces they themselves conjure up. Supposedly, demons are malevolent spirits whose attributes lead to the degradation of people or events with which they come into contact. The Greek word demon called a guardian spirit or source of inspiration, to be sure, theologians would later invent legion after legion of these heralds of evil inspiration. One indication of the cowardice of the magicians of the way of the right hand is the practice of summoning a particular demon, which, supposedly, would be a servant of the devil, to do the magician's bidding. The assumption is that the demon, being nothing more than a lackey of the devil, is easier to control. The occult tradition postulates that only a formidably, protected, or else insanely reckless sorcerer would attempt to summon the devil in person. The Satanist does not furtively call upon these lesser devils, but openly invokes those who make up that infernal army of enduring outrage, the devils themselves. As might be expected, theologians have catalogued some of the names of devils in their lists of demons, but the record below contains the names used most effectively in satanic ritual. These are the names and origins of the invoked gods and goddesses, who make up much of the denizens of the royal palace of hell. The Four Princes of the Crown of Hell Crown of Hell Satan 
Adversary, Opponent, Accuser, Lord of Fire, Hell, the South. Lucifer. Light Bearer, Illuminator, the Air, Morning Star, the South. Air, Morning Star, East. Belial. Masterless, Sustenance of the Earth. Independence, the North. Leviathan. The serpent that emerges from the depths, the sea, the west, the west. Depths, the sea, the west. The infernal names. Abaddon. The destroyer. Adramalek. Devil of Samaria. Apach. Mayan devil. Ariman. Mazdeo devil. Amon. Egyptian god with head symbol of life and reproduction. Life and reproduction. Apollyon. Greek synonym for Satan, the archenemy. Archenemy. Asmodeus. Hebrew devil of sensuality and lust, originally called, critically lust, originally called, creature of judgment. Judgment. Ashtaroth. Phoenician goddess of lasciviousness, equivalent to the Babylonian Ishtar. Babylonian Ishtar. Azazel. Taught man to make weapons of war, introduced weapons of war, introduced cosmetics. Balbarith. Canaanite god of the covenant, later turned later turned into a devil. Balaam. Hebrew devil of greed and covetousness. Baphomet. Worshipped by the Templars as a symbol of Satan. As a symbol of Satan. Bast. Egyptian goddess of pleasure, represented by the cat. Cat. Beelzebub. Lord of the flies, symbolized by the beetle. Flies, symbolized by the beetle. Behemoth. Hebrew personification of Satan in the form of an elephant. Hebrew personification of Satan in the form of an elephant. Beherit. Syrian name for Satan. Bile. Celtic god of hell. Chamash. National god of the Moabites, was transformed into a devil. Chamash. National god of the Moabites, was transformed into a devil. Simaris. Rides a black horse and rules Africa. Africa. Coyote. Devil of the North American Indians. Dagon. Avenging devil of the sea, Philistin. Dambala. Voodoo serpent god. Demogorgon. Greek name for the devil, said not to be known to humans. That he should not be known to humans. Diabolus. He who flows downward. Dracula. Romanian word for devil. Emma. Japanese Greek god for the devil. Habarim. Hebrew synonym for Satan. Hecate. Greek goddess of the underworld and witchcraft. Ishtar. Babylonian goddess of fertility. Kali. Daughter of Shiva, high priestess of the thugs. Thugs. Lilith. Hebrew devil, Adam's first wife, who taught him. Adam's first wife, who taught him. Loki. Teutonic devil. Mammon. Aramaic god of wealth and prosperity. Prosperity. Mania. Etruscan goddess of hell. Mantis. Etruscan god of hell. Marduk. God of the city of Babylon. Mastima. Hebrew synonym for Satan. Melek Taz. Yezidi devil. Mephistopheles. He who hides the light, known from Goethe, Marlowe and Mann's Faust. Man. Metzli. Aztec goddess of the night. Mictian. Aztec god of death. Midgard. Son of Loki, represented as a serpent. Serpent. Milcom. Ammonite devil. Moloch. Phoenician and Canaanite devil. Mormo. King of the Anthropophagus spirits, consort of Hecate. Nam. Female Hebrew demon of seduction. Seduction. 
Nergal, Babylonian god of Hades. Nihasa, North American Indian devil. Nija, Polish god of the underworld. Oyama, Japanese name for Satan. Pan, Greek god of desire. Pluto, Greek god of the underworld. Proserpina, Greek queen of the underworld. Haka, Welsh name for Satan. Ryman, Syrian devil worshipped in Damascus. Sabazios, of Phrygian origin, identified with Dionysus. Dionysus, serpent cult. Saitan, Enochian equivalent of Satan. Samuel, the poison of God. Samnu, devil of Central Asia. Sedit, devil of the North American Indians. Sekhmet, Egyptian goddess of vengeance. Set, Egyptian devil. Shaitan, Arabic name for Satan. Shiva, the destroyer. Supai, Inca god of the underworld. Tanimo, Chinese counterpart of the devil, desire. Unbridled, short. Russian name for Satan, the black god. Tezcatlipica, Aztec god of hell. Tamut, Sumerian god who was later demonized. Toth, Egyptian god of magic. Tunrida, Scandinavian devil. Typhon, Greek sonification of Satan. Yatsin, Aztec god of hell. Yentuan, Chinese god of hell. The devils of ancient religions have always had, at least in part, animal characteristics, evidence of man's constant need to deny that he too is an animal, because to acknowledge this would be to deal a powerful blow to his impoverished ego. The pig was despised by the Jews and the Egyptian. It symbolized the gods Osiris. Freya, Adonis, Persephone, Attis, and Demeter, and was sacrificed to Osiris and the moon. But over time, he was degraded into a devil. The Phoenicians worshipped a fly god, Baal, from which the demon Beelzebub is derived. Both Baal and Beelzebub were identified with the beetle of the Egyptians, which seemed to revive on its own, just as the mythical bird, the phoenix, rose from its own ashes. Because of their contact with the Persians, the ancient Jews believed that the two great forces in the world were Ahura Mazda, the god of fire, light, life and goodness, and Ahiman, the serpent, the god of darkness, destruction, death and evil. These examples, as well as many others, not only represent man's devils as seventy animals, but also show his need to sacrifice his original animal gods, and equate them with his devils. During the Reformation era, in the 14th century, an alchemist, Dr. Johann Faustus, discovered a method to summon a demon Mephistopheles from hell and make a pact with him. Johann Faustus discovered a method to summon a demon Mephistopheles from hell and make a pact with him. He signed a contract with blood to give his soul to Mephistopheles in exchange for the feeling of youth, and to return young at once. When the hour of his death came for Faust, he retired to his chambers, and was blown to pieces next to his laboratory. This story is a 16th century protest against science, chemistry and magic. It is not necessary to sell your soul to the devil or make a pact with Satan to become a Satanist. This ruse was concocted by Christianity to terrorize people so that they would not escape the fold. With accusing fingers and trembling hands, they taught their followers that if they yielded to Satan's temptations, 
and lived their lives according to their natural preferences, they would have to pay for their sinful pleasures by surrendering their souls to Satan and suffering for eternity in hell. They were led to believe that the passport to eternal life was a pure soul. Pious prophets have taught man to fear Satan, but what about terms such as God-fearing? If God is so merciful, why should people fear him? Are we to believe that there is nowhere to escape such fear? If you are to fear God, why not be Satan-fearing and have the fun that being God-fearing denies you? Without that fear, the religious would have had nothing with which to wield power over their followers. The Teutonic goddess of the dead and daughter of Loki was called Hell, pagan goddess of punishment and torture. When the books of the Old Testament were transcribed, an Hell 10 would be added. The prophets who wrote the Bible did not know the word Hell, they used the Hebrew word Sheol and the Greek word Hades, which meant grave, as well as the Greek Tartaros which was the abode of the fallen angels, the underworld, under the earth, and Gehenna, which was a valley near Jerusalem where Moloch reigned, and which was also where the garbage of the city was thrown and burned. It was from there that the Christian church developed the idea of the fire and brimstone of hell. The Protestant hell and the Catholic hell are places of eternal punishment, however, Catholics also believe that there is a purgatory where all souls go for a time, and a limbo where unbaptized souls go. The Buddhist hell is divided into eight sections, of which the first seven are atonable. The ecclesiastical description of hell is that of a horrible place of fire and torment, in Dante's Inferno, and in Nordic climes, it was believed to be a cold and icy region, like a giant refrigerator. Even with all their threats of eternal damnation and roasted souls, Christian missionaries have encountered some who were not so quick to swallow their nonsense. Like beauty, pain and pleasure are in the eye of the beholder. So, when the missionaries ventured to Alaska and warned the Eskimos of the horrors of hell and the lake of fire that awaited all transgressors, they anxiously asked, and how do we get there? Most Satanists do not accept Satan as an anthropomorphic being with cloven hooves, horns, and a pointed tail. He simply represents a force of nature, the powers of darkness, which are so called because no religion has ever brought those powers. Out of Darkness nor has science been able to give a technical term to this force. It is an untapped reserve, which very few people can use, because they lack the ability to use a tool without first analyzing and identifying all the mechanisms that make it work. It is this constant need to analyze that prevents most people from benefiting from this multifaceted key to the unknown that the Satanist prefers to call Satan. Satan, as a god, demigod, personal savior, or whatever you want to call him, was invented by the formulators of every religion on the face of the earth for the sole purpose of controlling man's supposedly reprehensible activities and situations here on earth. Consequently, anything that led to physical or mental gratification was defined as evil, thus ensuring a lifetime of unwarranted guilt for all. So, if we have been called evil, evil we are, so what? The satanic age is upon us. Why not take advantage of it, and live?